Hey y'all. Hey, it's me, Tori and Goddess, coming in with a quick message. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit the bell before y'all leave. Thank you for sliding through. Thank you for coming to see what it do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all know what I'm coming to do. I'm coming with the actual factuals to confirm what you already know, what's in the back of your mind, or what may have presented itself. Want to let you know what's hidden, right? Don't obsess over the messages. It may not resonate. Scroll. You may find one that does. You were guided to this message by the title. Um, if it don't fit, don't make it fit. It may not even be for you. It can be for somebody in your energy. So share it. Help the channel to grow y'all by hitting the thumbs up or disliking it so the message can circulate. Um, I appreciate y'all for coming to rock with me and coming to listen to me. Thank you for everybody who's been rocking from jump. Thank you for my new subscribers and those of you who are just passing through. My name is Nikki. These are intuitively guided messages from ancestors, spirit guides, um, our higher selves. Um, I don't want nobody on no shit brick road. I'm highly gifted. I'm a high priestess, an empress, and a hierophant. Um, I've been on plenty shit brick road, y'all, and I am very, very honored um, to be able to be blessed with this site. I was chosen, right? Um, a lot of us were called, weren't chosen, or some of us just, you know, just wanted to delve in and see what it do. I was chosen at a young age um, and was called again, right? And and I'm happy about it. Uh it's been some struggles along my path, and I don't want nobody to have those same struggles. So if I can prevent it, y'all, here I come. Shit. Thank you, Most High. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, Universe. Thank you to all of the lessons that we have learned. Thank you for connecting us with our higher selves helping us to tap into that built-in God-given GPS system that we call intuition. Um, no shade, y'all. These messages, like I say, are coming from the spirit guides, from my Gs. That's what I call my spirit guides. And they bring the actual factuals. They don't play. Um, I'm not judging nobody, period, point blank, because I ain't got all my ducks in a row, right? Somebody feel like they ain't got all their ducks in a row, too. It's all right. She is you where you supposed to be. You ain't got to keep up with the Joneses. The G says you maintain it. And if you're not here, come here. Come just like I'm coming to let you know what's going on. God dang it. So you can be prepared. Yeah, because it's blessings. It's blessings coming. You feel like you got the weight of the world on your shoulders. But you I see a humble abode. I see family life is lovely. Money is very abundant. No need to panic. All finances are allotted, folks. You better smile. Shit, if it has not manifested itself into your dang on um, personal realm of being, it's coming. Next 48 hours, divine feminine. Crown on, god dang it. That's what the G said. Crown on, queen. Shoo, what's up, queen? It's coming. Shoo, it's coming. Promises kept. As most high said. As most high said. Oh, his promise is going to be kept, right? This October. This October. October ain't gone yet. Shoo, it's the 22nd. We got nine more days. We got nine more days. But the G said next 48 hours, you better be smiling. Oh, finances are going to be allotted for. That humble abode. If, if it's not how you want it to be, you're about to be able to fix it up the way you want to. If you are in transition, queen, sis, my divine feminine, you are about to move right along to that lovely place, that that condo, that, that apartment with the balcony where you can see the sunset rise and see the sunset. You're going to have a lovely view, the G said. Or you already got that lovely view and you just want to decorate it, the G said. You want some lawn furniture? Oh, you got that coming? You up? Uh, Oh, you want that you want that barbecue pit out there for the winter. Oh, oh, you got that coming. A bonfire? You got that coming. Oh, you got it coming. Whatever it is you want. Oh, you want to go to Florida. You got it coming. Mmm. 
<clears throat> you want to travel down south. You want to go to a warm climate. You got that coming. You want a vacation. How long you want to go, sis? The G says you got it coming. Chin up. Chin up. Hey, sis. What you say? I'm too old of a cat to get scratched in the ass by Kenton. Oh, spirit ain't playing. We, we got some OGs who are around, who have surrounded this reading, some Oxford class ancestors, spirit guys, who, who've been around this matrix and who've been, who've been divinely in tune while they were here, out here walking with us. And, and they high, they highly ranked up there in the heavens. You better believe it. You better believe it. And they've been moving mountains and parting seas, divine feminine. Yeah, you behind on bills right now? You could be, huh? It could be up and down. Put the bills in the hat type shit, huh? You ain't about to have to worry about that no more either, as you said. Nope. You ain't about to worry about that. And around the first of the year, shit, you better pay attention to that. Somebody gonna be behind on bills, though, right? If we don't plan like we're supposed to right now, stay prayed up and know that you are to be rewarded for this obedience, for these lifestyle changes, for for you um, forming a better connection with your Heavenly Father. You're going to be rewarded. Somebody has experienced a bunch of spiritual growth, right? Spiritual awareness. And it's been a lot of spiritual lessons which has elevated you as well. Yeah, it's elevated you in the spirit. You may feel as though everything physically around you hasn't moved, but you you got some you you repping the spirit, the G said. For real. It's been some strange occurrences around you too, right? Feel as though um um I may be talking to an Aquarius or a bottle of Aquarius. There's been some strange occurrences around you, right? A lot. A lot of um uh spiritual um stuff going on around you. You may be seeing stuff out of the corner of your your eye, um, flashes of light, little orbs of light, um sounded like the uh, the fork of spoon just fell on the kitchen table or on the kitchen floor. You feel like stuff moving in your and around you and ain't nobody there but you. Yeah, them your G's. They letting you know they around you, surrounding you, protecting you. Don't be scared because they ain't letting nothing come near you. Mm -mm. They, it, uh -uh. they ain't let nothing come near you. Any weapon formed against you will not prosper. And it's going back to the center. Tenfold. Three times, three times, three times, three. Whatever negativity you send to thee goes back to thee. Send, send it ten times fold. Three times, three times, three times, three. Whatever negativity you send to me goes back to thee three times, three times, three times, three. You may have dyed your hair. You got a new hairdo. You may have did it yourself or somebody did it for you. I don't feel as though you went to a shop. Don't Didn't have to go, right? You could have went. Um, kitchen hairstyle, the G said. They want you to stay prayed up, sis. Queen, we got to stay prayed up. Do your researches about these spiritual baths and about your sage and your sage smoke. Light your incense when you don't have any sage and do those those that research about the direction of that smoke, the way it travels. Stay with your meditation and speaking those healing affirmations over your mind, your body, and your soul. Pray over your car. Pray over pray before you walk into your job. Pray before you go visit that, that kinfolk. You know what I'm saying? Pray before you do that. Pray while you're on the road. The Jesus wants you to stay in prayer. And continue lighting those white candles too. Do your research, Queen. Do your research. They said you're doing good. You you are recognizing, analyzing, and realize, realizing that you have been in a spiritual battle. You have um, made all attempts to correct some shit around you about the physical circumstances, right? You know, mainly your home, um, your family relationships, relationships with um, lovers, past lovers, neighbors, acquaintances, um, that person and family dollar that you don't like who always got an attitude. You, you know, you, you're trying to rectify yourself, you know, so you can put out something good into the universe so you can reap those benefits, right? You may have multiple children. Pray over your kids too, the G said. Give them some spiritual baths as well. 
give him some spiritual baths as well. The G said the babies go through spiritual warfare as well. They may be acting out right now, and it's because you know, mm, it was that sleepover. It was that sleepover. The G said. It was some activities going on there where um, it was some strange occurrences there. Take it where it resonates. Um, some negative energy. Uh, may have been some drinking and smoking there and they heard a bunch of commotion. May have been a fight that broke out or something. You know, I see 10-15. Um, 10-15, something happened around a quarter after 10. Uh, it was that. It could have been October 15th, huh? When was that? Last Friday. It was that goddamn um, um, slumber party, that sleepover, that person's house they went over to and spent that time. Talk to the kid about that because um, this they may have been mistreated. You know, talk too wrong. Um, yeah, talk too wrong, mistreated. You know, I don't feel as though there was any physical harm. Uh... But let's pray on it, though, because I feel as though it might piss you off. Yeah. Um, yeah, your short self, it might piss you off, sis. <laughs> the G says you short, you petite. Fun size. Fun size. Um, somebody a big flirt, too. Big flirt. Somebody a, somebody a big flirt. They all legs. Um, somebody that you may deal with. This person taller than you. They all legs. They a big flirt, right? Um, somebody thinking about getting their groove back. If they haven't gotten their groove back, they thinking about it because it's been a little minute, shit. It's been a little minute. They like, knock the cobwebs up off of this coochie. <laughs> shit. This living room, though, you thinking about fucking? You thinking about fucking on this in this living room on this new furniture? The G says you better put a towel down. Where's the white sheet? <laughs> Where's the white sheet? Where is the white sheet? You said she. I want me some nookie. You bite. You said she. I done played enough hooky. I want me some nookie. So. Somebody's speaking the truth to you and you ain't paying attention to it, right? Somebody been speaking the truth to you and you ain't paid attention to it. Short and petite. Short and petite. Somebody needs some alone time this weekend, but I don't feel as though they're going to do it. They're not going to be able to experience this work-life balance. The G says you need some alone time, your own energy. That's so low, dollar, but I don't feel as though you're going you gonna to do it. You got a man in your energy. Um, some man who may consider you born or you may consider this person born right now. Um, shit. I see they got big, big goober energy. They got a big, they got some, some shit down there. They need water in their pants because there's an anaconda down there, the G said. I see a T, I see a C, I see a R, I see a K, I see a N, I see a B, I see a F, I see a M and an L. <laughs> she, they, they got that stuff down there. The G said, <coughs> yeah, they speaking truth. Somebody speaking truth to you about this person. Or about you is some truth being told, sis. It is. It is. Somebody reminiscing too about past love. Some type of love interest. They praying on it too. They praying on it. They missing the good times. It's, they feel as though y'all may be a power couple. They feel as though y'all may be a power couple. Or y'all were a power couple. Y'all are a power couple. Y'all take it where it resonates, wherever you might be on this timeline. It can be past, present, or future. You hear me? But it was some goddamn on fuck girl, fuck boy shit going on, right? Somebody was disloyal as hell. Fake in the motherfucker. Broke a bunch of promises. Was cheating. You know what I'm saying? It's a separation on the horizon if it hasn't been. Somebody was dipping their toes in Lake Minnetonka. 
Yeah, get them their toes and wake them in the time for them. Somebody need to be somewhere having several seats, but they're not going to decline any offers, Water Scorpio Pisces energy. They're not going to decline any offers, see? But they didn't, oh, shit, you know, it's, it's cobweb, cobweb. And they ain't trying to put that on the back burner right now. They thinking about going to dip their toes into some Lake Minnetonka. As you said, make sure it ain't no algae in there, no leeches, nothing that's about to, you know, swarm through the bloodstream or, you know. Yeah, they want you to be wearing the seat. I feel as though it's a big ball of shot collar coming towards somebody. You know, somebody who 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 pants dragging and sagging, um, just like they got dang on they got them, you know, yeah, they they dragging, <laughs> they pants sagging and they they goober, they got a big goober. It's been some deceit though. They want you to avoid this bullshit, this this manipulative bullshit, because it's gonna be some manipulation because they prosperous, um, they cocky too, real confident, um. They said shit, money make the world go round. And said, and even though they said put that shit on the back burner, this is what this person is gonna be trying to come to say to you. Put that shit on the back burner. I wanna marry you. I miss you. We you know, we, we, we got we got some shit that can last through the test of time, you know. It's been some family matters and, and these family matters that took place, you know, was one for the books. It's one for the books. Shit the G said she write about it. Write about it. It'd be a number one salary. Um, number one seller. Somebody got some unreliable ass energy. Negative as hell. They may wear a uniform on a daily. They got a third party and it's too fucking obvious to G said. Too obvious. And they already clouded your joy at one point in time and caused um some barriers to be put up and for you to be overly emotional and um kind of like, you know, had you put your heart in the cage, you know what I'm saying? Because they was on some Lake Minnetonka shit with some fucking other female. Mm -hmm. And now you want a second chance, but they vibing low. They vibing low. Um, this person got a big dick. You might want to go on and hop on it and shit uh, because you ain't had none, right? Your soul intact, though, right? Don't be generous with your cookies and shit. No, they, the G said this person coming to you because you glowing and you shine. You got a bunch of sexual energy stored up, too. They want you to be smart about who you unleash it on because it can not only damage that person and have them looking for you in the bushes in the daytime with a flashlight, sis, but it can damage you, too. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, because we got to recognize, analyze, and realize these energies that we can we connecting with. They can deplete us. You know what I'm saying? Or they can help to restore and balance us. But who are you and who sent you type shit? You know what I'm saying? You're securing your emotions right now, you know? I feel as though you've been um, on a guided divine path, being led by your intuition. You're smart as hell. And the G's want you to keep that same energy. Because this person, they want to come in like they're going to have your back and like they desire you. But who else they desire? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like... They don't have um, the supportive energy that would be um, necessary to uh, even think about trying to sustain a relationship. Because you're going to be looking at this motherfucker like, you think I'm boo-boo the fool? Shit. You think I'm boo-boo the fool? Trust you. Trust you. Not with that evil shit that you did. Mm-hmm. They did. Mm -hmm. Not me. Mm -hmm. You said not with that evil shit that you did. What I look like, Tink Tink's um goddamn um, little sister, <laughs> big sister. You got some money issues. Count and save. You hear me? You've been in hermit mode too. The G says you may be a little antsy. You know, a little hot in the pants and shit. Want to be fast. But these some small worries. This hermit mode is going to pass too. Somebody got some, something to say to you. They've been gossiping, you know, about a business partnership or a change in the relationship that they want to have with you. Um, this person is from your past, um, but they want that shit to come to pass. They no longer there, but they want to step back off into your personal realm of being. This person is fictitious as fuck. They're imposter too, sis. They want to talk, though. 
you conformed in the past, you know what I'm saying? You conformed in the past, but the G said, you, you, you know, I said, you, you, you smart. Um, too old of a cat to get scratched in the ass by a kitten, too. The G said, you too old to be playing these games. It ain't no rat race. It ain't no marathon. Um, slow and steady wins the race, so we're not going to hop off on any fun ride that, you know, looks shiny and exciting and strong enough to, you know, twirl us around a few times. Mm -mm. No, the G said it's wise for you to stay in this, uh, this, this little tomb, this, this, this island, this, this, this pretty girl island you got, you know what I'm saying? Cause I feel as though that's you being, being solo dolo, shit. That's where it's at right now. Ain't shit out here that you gonna find seeking except for STD, the G said. This, per this person who wanna come back into your life, they got an STD. And it's been your instruction to reroute yourself because this person has been in a new relationship. They have had new relations, the G said. Yeah, it's been some death put to this connection because they caused a great deal of disappointment. Like, it was one thing after another with them. Like, they had you obsessively thinking about what it was that they was doing, who they was doing it with. You know, you didn't feel as though you were top priority. You feel is what I'm saying. And you had taken some advice from somebody who led you um, up against a brick wall. Um, even if... You know, say for instance, you were thinking about leaving, take it where it resonate, and this person that you were getting advice from, um, some woman, uh, they were persuading you to stay, or it could have been the other way around, you know, making it so that your love and happiness problems wouldn't lift, that it wouldn't be any more drama. They that will that's not what they want to do. They want to make sure that you stuck on that shit brick road where you know that you're not in a loving, fulfilling relationship and that you stay in these karmic cycles and that you don't recognize that you um, that you have. Um, it's a divine timing. Somebody wants you to rush and take any option um, or any offer that they bring in a G says psych. Nope, 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 nope. There's going to be some news about these alliances that this past person made. They low vibrational. They are. Um, they're very low, 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 low. You wish for something else. You want a high vibrational marriage, the G said. Stay prayed up, sis. Stay prayed up, sis. That's, that's what you want, queen? Shit. They speaking truth. You got a, some useful info by word of mouth that will prove to be true. It's going to either um, have you stuck on stooping and locked down on dumb because you still going to need to bump your head against this shit brick road because you don't still need to learn some lessons or you going to end it. You going to end it, do some cord cutting and go about your married way. Your married way. <laughs> Go about your merry way. You know that this path that you on is gonna lead nothing, nothing but um blessings and a fulfilling life. Um, for you not to have to always check up and and make sure that your mental health is 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 in play. You know what I'm saying? And making sure that your mental health is strong or that. You're not operating from an egotistical standpoint and that your spirit is intact. You're not going to have to worry about that because everything is going to deepen. Um, you, I, I, I feel like you're going to go on vacation. You're going to disconnect. You are. You're going to disconnect from some old ways, some old people, um, a lot of old habits that you said this October. If you haven't already done it, you shit and dead and some shit so you can get on this pathway of your person. As you said, this person that they putting on your path, um, you know, maybe talking to or about an April tourist. It's coming this winter queen, period. 
It's coming this winter. It's going to be locked in by this winter, the G said. Genuine, 100% favorable, profound, satisfactory love. The character of this this man is just going to be astonishing. You're going to be like, what was I tripping on? Let's get it, sis.